Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, critical path method. So the project scheduling. So the problem is the activity precedence and the duration of given. Given. So the activity A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So corresponding precedence is there. Then corresponding duration also given. Okay. For activity A, there is no precedence. And activity B, there is no precedent. Activity C, the precedence is A. Then activity B, the precedence is B. Then activity E also, the precedence is B. And the activity F also, precedence is B. So the corresponding duration also given. So first we have to uh, draw the network path and after that we can find out the critical path and the critical duration. Okay. So now uh, we can draw the A and B because there is no precedent for the both A and B activities. So now we can draw this A activity and uh, this is for B activity. Okay, For A activity and B activity there is no precedence and uh, we can put the duration over here. So B for B there is B. Okay, So next thing is for C the A is the precedent activity. Okay, So now we can draw the C activity. Okay, so the corresponding duration is 8. Okay, so next thing is we have to draw the D activity. So D activity, the B is the precedent activity. Okay, so now we have to check C and D the precedent for the G activity. So we can draw over here. Okay, so this one is D. So for D, the duration is 8. Okay, so after that we can draw the E activity. Okay, so E activity the precedent is B. So this is E activity. So the E activity the duration also 8. Okay, so next thing is F activity the precedent is also B. Okay, so now we can draw like this. This is F activity. So the duration is 5. Okay, so next thing is G activity. So the precedent is C and D. Okay, C and D is there. So now we can draw like G. So G activity, the duration is 8. So next thing is H activity. So the precedent is E and I. Okay, so first we have to draw the I activity. After that, we can draw the H. Okay, so now E for E, F is the precedent activity. Okay, so F is the precedent activity. Now we can draw over here because it's an I activity. So now we can uh, draw the H activity over here. So the H activity, so the H activity, the duration is 22. So next thing is uh, for J activity, the F is the precedent activity. So here we can draw over here is the J activity. So the duration is 12. Okay. So this is a network diagram. So from that we can find out the different path in this diagram. After that we can find out the critical path and the critical duration. So now we can uh, draw the path A, C and G. Okay. So A, C and G. Next thing is B, D, G. B, D and G. Next thing is B, E, H. B, E and H. Next thing is B, F, I, H. B, F, I, H. Okay. So, B, F, I, H. Next thing is B, F, J. Okay. So, there are 5 paths is there. So, the corresponding activities duration 5 plus 8 plus 8. So next thing is 4 plus 8 plus 8. So next B E H B E H 4 plus 8 plus 22. Next thing is B F I H that is B F I H. So B 4 F 5 I and H 4 plus 5 plus 2 plus 22. So next thing is B F J, B F J. So four plus five plus twelve. Okay. 
So solving this, we got the value 21, that is 20, here is 34, here is 33 and here is 21. Okay. So, the critical path, the path contain the maximum duration is critical path and the activity duration is critical duration. So, 34 is the maximum path. So, this path is critical path and the activity, sorry, the duration is critical duration. Okay. So, B, E, H. So, we can draw double line B, E and H. So, this is the method we can solve the problem. Again, you will see next video. Thank you.